Basel. Tomorrow we're going to visit it. It's in Lisboa. It's one of the oldest uh, ports in the world. Over there, there's mosque. We call it Mesjid Shuadna, the second mosque built in Oman for uh, 1,400 years ago. And we built this mosque before Mecca being a Muslims. making the Omani traditional clothes. This one is the scarf. She is applying the adornments on the side of the scarf. And then we have, she is making sandwiches from the sandy tree. They put it on that piece of stone, add some water. She do this to get the mask there. <laughs> how people used to divide or to distribute the water between the people with the traditional ways. Visitors can interact with the, with the screens and shape some rock art in Oman. And at the end they will, they will see the real one and the photo and uh, information about that rock. Ministry of Interior. Let's type in the word to use AI, AI for analyzing and give predictions. 13% males have voted, slightly surpassing the 10% females.
I think we are really, really privileged and they treat visitors really well. Air and so let's see the opportunities is available in our border. While talking about investments, we see Oman as a destination. From tourist side, we have the, the virgin beaches, the virgin destinations I would call them. We are developing the country also throughout the family tourism and the rich culture that we have. We are the fourth best world network structure. We have a very strong structure on our ports now. And Oman is going to be one of the biggest producers of, of green energy in the world. Hydrogen Oman, Hydrom we call it. The huge projects coming. Welcome to Sultan Qaboos Grand Mosque. My name is Mahmoud Al Isa. Uh, this mosque uh, started to build in 1995, then opened in 2001. Uh, the total site area 933,000 meters square. everyone to the Royal Opera House uh, of Oman, Masqat. My name is Amina and I will be your guide. This was the first Royal Opera in the Gulf region and it took only four years to build, from 2007 to 2011. The main goal of building the Royal Opera is actually to get to know other countries' cultures through the performances. Operas, jazz, tango, flamingo, Arabic music, etc. The place represents Omani identity through the architecture and through the design that you see on the wood and everywhere, basically. The first thing that attracts you as a visitor is usually the ceiling because it's very beautiful, it has a lot of details, and it's very creative in terms of the design. So all of the carvings that you see were made by the locals in Oman. Let's go to everyone's favorite part, the other <laughs> <day>. <laughs> At the Royal Opera House, we have different departments. One of the most important ones is the uh, educational department. Ambergris, it is known as a floating gold in perfume industry. It comes from a sperm whale vomit. The baby use its little bit white flora with a freak inside. It's amazing. Thirty-one. 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 Th